Welcome back, BTS ARMY! We have another music video today from RM. This one is called Lost. And right here we can see inside Namjoon's brain. And Namjoon is very smart, so I'm sure we're about to learn a lot just getting to see a peek inside of his brain. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. We did check out his last music video called Come Back to Me, and we kind of broke down and gave our thoughts on what the meaning behind it might be. If you would like to check that out, that is up on the channel. But today, we are going to be checking out Lost and also... RM has two other music videos that we're going to be checking out, plus his new album just released, Right Place, Wrong Person, is out right now, so very excited to hear all the tracks on that. But we are going to be checking out these music videos and seeing what he has in store for us, so I thank you for being here, much love to you, BTS ARMY! Now, let's jump right in here and take a stroll through Namjoon's brain. Good evening. Chowin Chanyogyeo. Presenting his new solo single. Lost. Chowin is a little bit of a joke. Chowin is a little Performing for us tonight. Give it up for <laughs> What is happening right now? <laughs> Hold on. There is so many RMs. They're everywhere. Now we are inside of his mind, so perhaps he sees himself in all of these different positions. But he was wearing wigs. We see the people in the elevator. They're all wearing the name tag that says RM. So all of them represent RM right now. And even here on the, on the button, we see nowhere. So where are they heading? Perhaps to nowhere and everywhere at the same time because there's a lot of buttons pressed. But right here, it says right place, wrong person. Shout out to the title on the album. But we're going we're gonna to go back a little bit here. There is a lot happening already, and we barely started. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He looks confused himself. Like, he, he looks like he's con just as confused as I am. But I see this maze here right now. Now, it's a slanted maze. But I remember when I watched the Sheesh music video by Baby Monster, and we broke that down. There was a maze in that. It, was, it appeared to be a recurring theme. And now we're seeing a maze again, but RM is in the center of it with the spotlight on him, and there are several other RMs there with him. Now, I wonder, since this is titled Lost, that's the name of the song, if he is lost himself, but he's trying to find a path back to himself. He's trying to discover all these parts of himself that appear to be missing. So he, he, they're missing right now. But perhaps he's going to discover them throughout the music video. Um, the maze can also represent life and the title of the song. Sometimes we feel lost in life. And life is a maze that you have to navigate. And there are several different paths that you will go down in life. But eventually, once you reach the end, that's where you belong. 
So we'll see. We'll see as this develops. I remember RM in an Instagram post. He was wearing a wig. And wasn't it this wig here? Was this, wasn't he wearing a blonde wig in an Instagram post? I, okay, we are inside his mind, and it appears there's a lot of things going on. So I'm just very excited because this is my favorite BTS member, but I'm going to let it develop a little bit. Good night. Give it up for RM! And look, look how they're leaning. You notice a, a, a lot of these scenes here when they when they come down on the elevator, the doors open, they're leaning. And then here they're leaning again. Now, I'm wondering what that could represent, but I'm going to let the video develop because maybe it'll be explained. But I like that he used the lyrics. Time flies like an arrow 14 and now you're 30 because that's how I feel. And me and Nam June are the same age, and I can relate to exactly what he said there. Um, and also just being lost in life too. I've experienced that feeling. You know, I think we all do, and some of us may still be lost. I feel like I, I'm still a little lost as well. <laughs> so hopefully Nam June helps lead me to the promised land. But time does fly by. It's like you know, it's just in an instant. If you're not, if you're not paying attention. You can miss out on so many things in life. Time will pass you by. You could go from being 14, one second, and then all before you know it, you're 30 years old. And that's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. Like time has flown by so quick. And I just want to, you know, I want to be able to rewind back a little bit because I miss some of those experiences. I feel like some of those spots and positions that I was at in life, perhaps I didn't get to experience them long enough. Or maybe I want to relive certain moments again. But we can't. So uh, I snap into it. Suddenly, I'm in an empty street. And look right now. This is just a dark abyss. This is where the elevator went down into this abyss. And it appears to be like an empty street is what he's describing this carpet here as. But it's just uh, he mentioned the silver cloud as well. And the way I would see that is thinking about a silver lining. You know, there might be some dark times that you experience in life. Maybe there's these dark experiences that you go through. But if you have the fortitude to get through those dark experiences and those troubling times, there is a silver lining. You just have to make it through that tough experience. And right on the other side, there's a silver cloud, as RM would refer to it. She got it some side, girl, it's side, get busted, third. And I look up in the sky, it's a silver cloud, you heard it. Tell me underground, pick it up, throw it in the truck. Tell me underground, pick it up, throw it in the truck. Tell me underground, pick it up, throw it in the truck. Tell me underground, pick it up, now, nah, let's go talk. Tell me underground, shit. Tell me underground, shit. 
I get lost in the ground by the bag in that got them lost. Got them. Wow, okay. Okay, so now hold on, he keeps tripping. I can't stop bleeding. So that notice at first when they were walking on this path here, this barrel, essentially, there was it was Big smiles, right? We're just going happily about our days. But then we trip, we stumble, and then now how do we get back up? I keep tripping. How do I get back up? And eventually they do find their way back to their feet. But the way I see that is here, and we're seeing an exit sign here lit up, I'm guessing for the, a particular reason. But we see him trip and stumble, and now he's just barely holding on. He's clinging on, and that is just like life. Sometimes we slip, we stumble, and we have to pick ourselves back up. Or, you know, pick it up, throw it in the trunk, dump it on the ground, pick it up, throw it in the truck. But, uh, you know, that that's a part of life. That's what we all experience. There are little setbacks that we will incur. And we have to find a way to pick ourselves up off the ground, dust ourselves off, and keep going on the path that we want to work towards. And even those, you seen as uh, all those different versions of RM, he was crumbling up the paper balls and throwing them out. I wonder if those are lyrics that he's writing, like ideas for music, perhaps. You toss it out, and then maybe, I've seen, you know, like, I've experienced where you could write something down, you throw it away, but then you're like, oh, wait, no, 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 may, perhaps that isn't the right one. Oh, and then you pick it up, oh, maybe it is the right one. So I wonder, wonder if, uh, you know, he was writing song lyrics there. Because I've gone through so many different song lyrics that I've written, and then I'll scrap the idea, but then I'm like, wait, no, I can fit that in a different song. So then I'll use those lyrics for something else. It's just like, it'll teach you not to act so hastily. It'll teach you patience. Don't rush through life. Just enjoy it. I get lost in the ground by the bag and that truck. I got them lost. Was that the Spider-Man meme? Was he just doing the Spider-Man meme? Did I see that? Where they're pointing at each other. It's like, you're you, you're me, I'm you, we are we, you. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw the meme. I got temptation. I got temptation. Yes! That's the meme. It's the meme. <laughs> He's pointing at himself. So throughout his brain so far, all these different office areas that we've been in, especially these little platforms, we've seen several versions of RM. And right now, we're we are seeing them find each other. Like, hey, I'm you. You're me. We are you. What's happening here? And now, if you think about the Spider-Man meme, they are all the same person. You know, they're all Peter Parker. And Nam June or RM here with the name tag, they're all RM, right? They are all versions of himself, but perhaps they have different life experiences. You know, perhaps uh, the position that they're in right now is a little bit different from the other one that they're pointing at. Like, we're, we're very similar, but there's a little bit of a difference. This is, I love that he put that in here. <laughs> I've got temptation. I got temptation Oh my god Every morning, every night, I always feel lifeless And in the morning, I feel love, I hug it in excitement Every morning, every night, I always feel excitement When I feel lonely as fog, I still a lifeless I'm never loving alone, I'm gonna lightless uh, I'm gotten lost. I've never been a club before. I okay, hold on. So now we see more exit signs appearing, but did you notice that the pathway on them changed? That was interesting. 
because at the beginning of the video when it was the claymation they had several different arrow signs for the exit like just pointing straight ahead it was a linear path like go this way and you'll find the exit but uh, also that was a maze that the claymation was in and then we seen him standing in the maze so that ties in there but um these exit signs here the exit strategy the one was just a u-turn right the arrow was just a u-turn it was like oh turn around and then go this way and you'll find your way out but then the sign changed and it got a little squiggly line like that's not the right way go this way oh wait go that way a lot of confusion happening here and you can see it on rm's face too um when we see him he does appear confused almost as if he's lost inside of his own mind like right now just as confused as we are witnessing this and watching this develop we are inside of his mind he is lost as well and hence the title of the track he appears to be wandering trying to find his way and he's looking for a sign like how do i navigate this but with these exit signs you're very confusing lifeless now i'm loving and low kind of lightless uh, i'm got them lost right here here's the second one so we just saw the first one that was like a u-turn and then look it changes because it appears as though he's still trying to find his way out like that was not the right way now you have to change your course and think about things in a different way and perhaps that could be how he looks at life as well like you have to have different perspectives on things in order to grow and develop i've never been a club before i hit the club Excuse me. Well, another exit sign just popped up, but was that person just spraying themselves with a fire extinguisher? <laughs> Hold on a second. The club before I hit the club. He is spraying himself with a fire extinguisher right now <laughs> while while these individuals do the Michael Jackson smooth criminal lean. They're just leaning forward. And notice RM has now sat down on the ground though. Like he's kind of given up in an instant? Hmm. Or he's just worked tirelessly and cannot seem to figure it out? Hmm. Uh, I never felt so free before you got them girls. I never felt so free before I hit the I never felt so free before I got temptation. I got temptation. I got temptation. I, got I really love this build right here with the, the little clapping and then the ah. Uh, like almost as if uh, you had an aha moment. You're like, ah. It's just very uplifting. It sounds courageous. It's, it just, I vibe with it. I got temptation. I got temptation. I got temp. That was incredible. Lost is out everywhere. Give it up. I got temptation. I got temptation. Wow, that was an experience. It was art, is, is exactly what that was.
just his self-expression. Okay, now I do want to play it um, some parts back because there was a couple of things I wanted to discuss that I noticed in there. And, you know, that was very interesting there at the end. It's also starting to get really dark outside because I think it's going to rain here soon. So hopefully there's a silver cloud. <laughs> um, but yes, right place, wrong person is out now. Now, I feel like this track here, Lost, does encompass right place, wrong person a lot. And let's go back to the beginning here. Now, we are inside of Namjoon's brain, so we have to think about it from that perspective. One thing I find really interesting is that the we're on a 70s style TV show. It, it also kind of reminded me like the uh, Eric Andre show. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it was a little chaotic, you know, and there's very quick camera shots and it's just very scatterbrained. Like there's so many things happening at once and that appeared to be a lot of what was happening here. Notice how she's smiling straight face. Their emotions change a lot. But since these figures here, the host of the show, are inside Namjoon's brain, these are things that he is experiencing. One moment, he could be very excited or happy, and then straight face, like, RM, yay! And then you're, in an instant, you think of something and it changes. But he played so many different roles in this. It, it was just, uh, it felt... As though he was very lost, okay, as the title says. But it was almost as if he was um, on a journey of self-discovery. And you have to kind of get into your own thoughts and discover who you are. And I feel like Lost ties in perfectly with Come Back to Me. Because in Come Back to Me, he appeared to be lost as well. He was running around, he was pacing, he was just very anxious, trying to figure out, like, what is happening. There was a lot of confusion. And in this, a lot of confusion. He's lost as well. But now we're on the inside of his mind. An interesting thing about these hosts, though, is he kept being introduced as RM, which is his stage persona. Okay, that's fine. Now, this is in his mind, though, and when they introduce him as RM, and they say, hey, give it up for RM. They do that at the end as well. To get the audience to applaud, they say, oh, thank you, RM. And notice RM still appears a little bit confused. Like, who's that? And if they're introducing him as the artist RM, but we are inside Namjoon's brain, what about the person Namjoon? So this is just very thought-provoking, and it's making me spiral with all these thoughts like, what? what could be going in? And I feel like there's so many things happening here, and it's an excellent representation of his mind. Because there's so many things that go on in my head, and I, as I imagine, with RM or Namjoon, a lot of things happen as well. So, as he's here, notice this maze is slanted, right? It's leaning. The characters, when they're on the walkways or in the office, there's a lot of leaning going on. I'm wondering if, perhaps like the exit signs, how there was a straight linear path, and then that changes throughout. You learn that life is not a linear path that you walk on and find your way to the end. There is all kinds of twists and turns, and you will slip, you will stumble, as he expressed, when they're rolling on this platform... Notice how everything is not straight and linear inside of his mind. And um, where is this uh, platform where everything was crooked? Right here? Yes. Notice this. This is leaning as well. So I think that that could show that he discovered life is not very linear. And sometimes you will get lost in life. And I believe he has been lost in life. But finally, we see this arrow that shows you if you want to get out of the position that you're in then you have to climb out. You have to go up. You can't continue to walk on the same level. You have to go up. And then I think with the individuals that he was climbing over, that could be the social ladder. And you have to climb out of that part that you're in. Now, remember, they all wear name tags that say RM, so they represent himself. Who is your biggest competition? Yourself. 
you are the person who stands in your own way from getting to the place that you want to be, right? But where does he end up back in the end? He ends up right up top where he started out. So it was almost as if we witnessed a cycle happen, and it was a life cycle. Why do they call it the life cycle? It's the cycle of life, and sometimes you will take a different path. But you always end up right where you're supposed to be. And this shows that RM is exactly where he's supposed to be in life, even if at times he feels lost. So I'm thinking that with all of these different places he's working in this video, all these different positions, he appears tired, worn out, stressed, but then at times happy, sad, confused, all of these different emotions. It could explain that that is how he feels when he's in BTS sometimes. Not that he doesn't love BTS and appreciate them. It's just that being in BTS for so long, he's had to be so many things for BTS because he is the leader. So he represents so many different things in BTS, not just a leader standpoint. He has to be the speaker at the forefront when they attend events. He's had to teach them English. He's had to be their guide. He represents all of these things. And I'm sure he loves that. That's not a bad thing because he is the leader. But at the end of the day, he's been RM for so long that doing all of those things, he was wearing so many different hats where, or so many different name tags in this instance, where does RM become Nam June? Because it was always RM, RM, RM. And perhaps he had to take a step back from BTS to work on this solo project to discover himself. And self-care is very important. So I believe that this whole video encompasses how he's felt. He's felt lost. Not just as rm oh i don't know what song to make or anything it's not just that it's himself as a person he lost who he was before he joined bts so he wanted to rediscover who nam june truly is and i think that's a beautiful thing you know he he's been so many things to so many people they look to him for guidance the fans everybody rm represents so many things but at the end of the day Nam Jun, what does Nam Jun see himself as? Because right now he represents everyone and no one at the same time. Because to us and you know everybody around him, the public eye might see him as Nam Jun, or see him as RM, but he sees himself as just Nam Jun, a normal guy like you and I. That's what he wants to be seen as, and. Since he's had to be RM for so long, he had to rediscover Nam June because Nam June was lost. I think I think it's I think it's a great video, man. It just encompasses who RM truly is. And if there's a word that describes RM, it is artist. He's so talented in so many different things. He's you know, if we think about his title of the album, right place, wrong person. Why is he saying that? Could it be an imposter syndrome? You know, you, you've become so magnificent to the world. You become this big stature as RM. And we know Nam June. We appreciate Nam June. But Nam June might not necessarily see that initially. And I think that's why the host of the show kept saying RM, RM, and then he looked confused. But if we think about right place, wrong person, this ties in perfectly with the album, and I can't wait to hear the rest of it. But he is exactly where he's supposed to be at the end of this, correct? It's that life cycle. He's right where he's supposed to be because he's so talented. He does deserve to be where he's at. He's in the right place, but sometimes he feels like he's the wrong person to be there. Like, why am I in this position? Did I just get lucky? You saw him playing Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, a game of luck, right? And he was the one who got to climb the ladder. So maybe he feels as though, even though he knows he's talented, we know he's mega talented. 
he might not necessarily feel like that all the time because he feels like he's just one of us. He's just everyday regular person, Nam June, who just happens to be one of the biggest stars in the world. <laughs> so he is in the right place, but at times he's lost his self. So he feels like the wrong person, and maybe there was a little bit of luck. That's just my take on the video. I can't say that that is exactly what he's feeling. None of us can, except for Nam June himself. But boy, was this so thought provoking, and I've been going on about it because it sparked so many ideas, and I love him for that. So thank you, RM, for making my mind go as crazy and try to piece together these these parts of the puzzle that he showed us in the video. But I love the song. I thoroughly enjoyed the audio, and I've got temptation. Mm -mm -mm. I, I really enjoy it, and I want to hear it more. It, it had um an alternative jazz pop feel. It, it reminded me, um, like in Come Back to Me, when I talked about Silk Sonic, that has Silk Sonic vibe, and I know RM has done a song with Anderson Pac. This makes me think of Bruno Mars a little bit. It's a similar vibe to that. And, you know, I feel as though this whole video and the song even is not necessarily meant to be directed towards us, like just putting it out for the fans. This is really just him expressing something to himself. He wanted to have a conversation with himself. So it's not a letter to the fans. It's a letter to Nam June. So it allowed him to express these deep feelings that he's had for a while. And hopefully get some things off of his chest. So thank you, RM. Thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comments. Um, yeah, it was very fun trying to figure out Nam June's brain. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will. I will. Uh, I'll see you guys in the other ones because we have more RM music videos to take a look at. So much love to you, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.